Hey Calvary, uh, it's Pastor Joe. I hope this day finds you well and healthy. Uh, I want you to know that we are praying for you. We love you. And I miss coming together for worship every weekend. Today we are continuing in our Word for the Day devotionals from the book of Philippians. Have you ever noticed how much your attitude affects your outcome? Paul was in prison because he was a follower of Jesus. But when you read the letter that he wrote to the Philippians, he does not give the slightest impression that he is discouraged, saddened, fearful, or afraid. Instead, he has an attitude filled with hope. Our passage today is Philippians 1, 12 through 18, but we're going to focus on verses 12 through 15. Listen to what Paul wrote. And I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, that everything that has happened to me here has helped to spread the good news. For everyone here, including the whole palace guard, knows that I am in chains because of Christ. And because of my imprisonment, most of the believers here have gained confidence and boldly speak God's message without fear. We are currently living in a very crazy and unexpected time. You may have lost your job. Uh, you may be trying to financially support somebody who has lost their job. Schools are closed. Parents have become teachers. People are encouraged to wear masks inside of banks. When Paul was in prison for telling others about Jesus, his faith in God helped him to see beyond his current crisis and in the middle of this crisis, he could see God changing lives all around him. In verse 14, we see that because of Paul's imprisonment, most of the other believers gained confidence and began to live their faith boldly. Now, we would think that we would have, uh, that would have the opposite effect on us, that Paul's imprisonment for telling others about Jesus would prevent others from talking about Jesus. But because of Paul's attitude toward his imprisonment, others gained confidence and began boldly sharing their faith. Most of the world is watching how followers of Jesus walk through this crisis. They are watching to see how we respond to not meeting for weekend worship or Easter. I encourage you to respond to not gathering by making the best of a bad situation and loving others anyway. Online, you can invite others to hear about Jesus by liking and sharing our worship events and devotionals. Offline, you can check in on those around you. You can pray for our healthcare workers and first responders. You can be kind when shopping for groceries. Continue to tell others about Jesus. Continue to gather online. Continue to give financially if you're able. And continue to love others. Continue to live out your faith in Jesus. And as you do that, you will allow your chains and pain to increase the confidence of others. Thanks for joining us today. And I pray that other people will be encouraged by the way you live out your faith.